Working on a 2007 Chevy Silverado uh, 2500 HD with, with the 6 liter engine and the vehicle has lean codes Bank 1, Bank 2, P0171 and P0174. So the customer has its own code reader and it's already cleared the codes out so I don't have any freeze frame. The code just returned after our test drive. So I got some live data here. I'm looking at the short term and long term fuel trims. And if you look at the long trim, it's uh, adding fuel up to 24% with a threshold of 25.25%. So this is doing this at idle right now. So I took this vehicle on a test drive and as I'm cruising down the road, the long term fuel trim will drop down to about 12-15%. And then as soon as you come to a stoplight, it raises back up to, to uh, 24%. Now this is a classic sign of a vacuum leak. If you listen here, I'm giving it throttle here in the bay and just revving the engine up. And the uh, short term fuel trims are, are tra taking away because I'm revving the, thr the uh, throttle, but the long term is uh, slowly dropping down. So it's actually kind of common for the EVAP purge valve to stick open. Sometimes this will create a, a rich code and sometimes this will create a lean code. This depends on how much vapors are in the uh, canister when it's sucking it in. So I unplugged it, capped it off, and double checked it to see if my fuel trim numbers would come down. And they are pretty much exactly the same. They did not move. So that ruled out the EVAP system as being the source of the leak. So I don't suspect a mass airflow sensor. Usually when those go bad, you see that the uh, data paid for calculated engine load. And it'll read like saying 50% engine load when you're at idle or 70% cruising down the road when you're barely giving any throttle. So, so in the case of this vehicle, the calculated engine loads were really low at idle and cruising down the road and giving it throttle. So everything looks smooth. And I, so I didn't suspect a mass airflow sensor. So what I did was I checked for vacuum leaks. I'm using my easy intake here. I got the air snorkel here off. I'm gonna inflate this bladder here and it's gonna seal off the intake. And I'm gonna use my uh, red line smoke machine and I'm going to hook it up to this uh, bladder here that I'm pumping up and it has a pass through so it'll, it'll inject the smoke through the bladder and into the engine. So now I've got my smoke machine hooked up. I'm going to turn it on here and basically I'm going to look around for vacuum leaks. Sometimes vacuum leaks can be tough to find so I just thoroughly looked around the entire intake manifold, all the hoses, the, uh, the EVAP purge here. I went ahead and put that back on. Uh, one of the common areas for this uh, uh, system to leak would be the PCV system. So you would want to check that the hose is going to the PCV system. So on the LS motors, there's usually a vent on one on each of the uh, valve covers. So you want to look for those hoses. It's also not uncommon for the manifolds to warm up and seal off. So you want to check these hot and cold. In this case, my fuel trims were uh, are always uh, lean so I knew that this was an, an active leak here and sure enough right here in the back the uh, the hose for the PCV system so I kept seeing a little puff of smoke and then when I moved the hose just a little bit a big puff of smoke came out so what I'm gonna do is repair the vacuum hose right here where it mounts onto the valve cover go ahead and repair that then I'm gonna put the uh, the air cleaner assembly back together I'm gonna fire the vehicle off I'm gonna clear out all the codes and check the fuel trim numbers and see if they start dropping to uh, see if, the, uh, if there's any additional leaks in the system. If you guys haven't seen the easy intake, I recommend you check it out. I will link it up in the description of the video. It makes life easy finding these vacuum leaks. So I got it all back together and running here. And uh, I'm gonna clear these codes out and I'm also gonna take this vehicle for a little test drive. So after clearing the codes out, I fired the vehicle off and I went and uh, set it in the uh, fuel trim mode here. This is like a pre-designed uh, chart here that pulls up anything related to the fuel trim on the scan tool. So right here we got the engine running and as you can see here the numbers are drastically dropping on the uh, long term fuel trim. So as you can see here the fuel trims are dropping from 24% and they're going down and down and down. So I'm going to take it out for a quick little test drive. I'm also going to make sure that the monitors run which I'm sure they will, then I'll ship the vehicle back to the customer. So this was a basic look at fuel trims to help you diagnose a, uh, a symptom on the vehicle. I'm Brian Nissen from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I encourage you to subscribe. I invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. Thank you again for watching.